is Chris Cruzette. I'm going to show these videos, this video first before I show the other one with the tour. These are BMWs. So someone from the museum will come and talk to us in a minute. <laughs> This is Chris Cruzens. It's uh, Friday, October 25th, 2019. The time is 3 p.m. I'm in, entering the Cypress Motorcycle Museum. And then somebody from the museum will talk to me. Hello. Hello, Chris. How are you? Tell us about this museum here. So, this is the Cyprus Classic Motorcycle Museum. Uh -huh. We are in Cyprus, Nicosia. Here we have about 100 motorcycles. Uh -huh. Well, the oldest one it's from 1914 it's 105 years old today oh, in wow. New Hudson uh -huh. and in front of you you can see a Morgan this one on your left hand side yes this car right here yeah All right. it's a Morgan plus four from the 50s uh -huh. wow yeah a wooden floor handmade nice yeah, people uh -huh. who know about this stuff and then how about over car, yeah. how about over here and here we start with motorcycle from British made, the Matchless. The first one here is a three second World War bike. This one? Yeah. Oh, and wow. after this, it's the second version of G3L. This one, 9823? Yeah. Okay. Is the G3L model that means light the L that they were imported in the name of the model. Uh huh. And the next bikes are some AJS that Matchless and NJS were the same company making two different products so that's why they are very similar this one the same yeah so uh -huh. as you can see they are very similar the bikes uh -huh. and then this one <laughs> and then you have again a Matchless this E778 yeah uh -huh. and next to that is an NJS from the 50s and again, an M Matchless from the 50s again. So you can see the similarities of the bikes. Right, right. In the 50s, they discovered also the rear suspension on the bikes, as you can see on the back side. Uh huh. Right so over there. The 40s decade, they didn't have a suspension. It springs under the seat. Wow. And then over here, and then we have an aerial, also British made. Which and one? Give me the plate. The, which uh, yeah, the plate B138. This one? Yeah, the blue uh, one, the right. dark blue. Uh -huh. And following the gray bike, it's a Norton. This one? Yeah, the gray uh, bike. Right. It's a Norton. Wow. And after these two bikes, we've got the Panther with the sidecar, the red bike. This one? Yeah. Wow. This is a Panther 600cc from 1954. This this one, AC, AE5? Yeah. Exactly. 5-something, yeah. Wow. And here you can see our workshop. Oh, this is the workshop? Okay. Yeah, and that we are working on some of our projects. So you're fixing also a motorcycle? Yeah. Oh, you really? Like a garage? The first bike you see down there, uh -huh. it's exactly how we find bikes, and slowly, slowly we bring them in the condition you so see So you here. fix them? Uh, yeah. and we and restore them. And restore them, and then yeah. you put them on display. All right. And what's the address here? Uh, we are in Granicu, uh -huh. 44, and the postal code is 1010. You ride on Arsinois in Granicu, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Near the Palace Cinema yeah. in Nicosia, in the old part of Nicosia. And then this one here. This is the oldest bike we have in Cyprus, not only in the museum. Which one, the first one here? The upper side. Oh, the one up yeah. there, okay. This is a new Hudson from 105 years ago. Oh, wow. As you can see, it's a belt drive, mm -hmm. no chain, no kickstart, no hand start. You have to run with the bike <laughs> and then push a gear inside for the gearbox and then it starts. So it's a motorcycle, exactly, not, yeah. not a bicycle. Yeah. yeah, Not a bicycle, not an autocycle. These were the first motorcycles in the world. Wow, this Back one's there. here. How about this one's here? This is a Triumph Daytona. Uh -huh. Very 
familiar for people lived in the 70s and 60s. Right, right. And then this one. And then after that you have a Norton Commando 750 used in the movies for Marlon Brando. Oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This type of movies. And after that, the green bike here is the Sun Beam S7 model, also British made. Wow. Yeah, great bikes. And of course the Ariel. Ariel was also British bikes, very nice chrome style. As you can see, it shines a lot. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah it looks good. So they are aerial on the side here. Yeah, these two here that you see, the both aerials, Red Hunter model, one from the 40s and one from the 50s. And then the green bikes here are BSAs. That BSA stands for British Small Arms. We just show everybody yeah. the sign here. Of course, yeah. BSA right here goes everywhere. The British, huh? Exactly, yeah. They started making guns then bicycles and then motorcycles and then this one and here you have some matchless a roamer a bsa and again a bsa how about this police one here yeah This is a very interesting uh, motorcycles. This is a motorcycle museum in Nicosia, Cyprus. We're in the old part of Nicosia. And uh, the gentleman explained to us what's going on with all these bikes here. The more uh, motorcycles here. And uh, he's coming back. He had to go help a, a visitor, a customer. So we just. So this is the police. Uh, yeah, this was one of the first police bikes in Cyprus. Oh, really? It's a BSA M20 with a sidecar. Oh wow! Yeah. And then this one's and here. Here we've got the first trial bikes: a Mondesa from Spain and a Honda from made in Japan. They were very good on climbing on barrels and doing some great right. tricks back then. So this rest one's BSA as well. Yeah, those two red bikes are BSAs and then you have a Royal Enfield. This is the Royal Enfield right yeah. here. This is model 32, 1946, yeah, wow. Exactly. And then you have another this BSA, one? yeah. And the next bike of that the black one. The N1054. Yeah. Uh, this like is that. the motorcycle of the gunsmith of Eoka. Oh, wow. So uh, this bike belongs to the guy that he was giving ammunition, guns. Got it. Got yeah. it. And it says 1946. Though. Yeah, exactly. The model is from 1946. And then this one, another Royal Enfield. Yeah. Another Royal Enfield. Well, these are Great. British, right? Yeah, British yeah, makes. Exactly. Okay. Royal Enfield also. James, the right one, is also British. This one, James, yeah. the, ma the, the maker is James. Okay. Yeah. And this bike belongs to Stylianos Lenas, a warrior in a Hogan group oh in 55-59. Wow. And here you've got an NJS from 1930s. This one? Yeah. L so you can see the hand shifter for gears. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. And then we have some German bikes. Eastern Germany. These yeah. are Eastern Germany, wow. Yeah, the MZ. Both of them are MZ. And then you have the Simpson bikes. Which the one? The which one? HM? Yeah. The HM 3500. Yep. And then the KW 075. Yeah, this also one? A Simpson, yeah. Those four bikes, they were also made in Germany. Wow. And then this one here? This is a Veloset. This is a water-cooled motorcycle with a boxer engine and a hand start, no kickstart. Oh wow! Yeah. All right. This is I recognize. Yeah. Two following Lam bikes are Lambretta. Lambretta, yeah. yeah. Made in Italy. Made in Italy, of course. Yeah. yeah. I recognize it. Yeah.
1954. Very famous bikes in Italy. This is 54, the one on the left, and in 1965, yeah. the one on the right. Exactly. And then this one is a... And then you have two motorcycles made in Austria called mm -hmm. Pach. P-U-C-H. Yeah, or either Puch. It's wow. the two accents that people describe. That's from 1963. Yeah. And then this one... You have another, another James, James that yeah. we see before. From 1954. This is the James Captain. And then this one here, and another BSA, BSA. C11, yes. Oh, that's and a nice a one Suzuki, right there. Yeah, GS550 with four cylinder. Nice. So we'll go right over here now. And we are it's another, it looks like another, Vespa. I another Italian one, Vespa, yeah. yeah. You get a good shot. Right now we're Piaggio Group. Yeah, and then this one it looks like uh, this bike here. Second World War. Yeah, it's a <laughs> BSA. Uh -huh. It's one of the motorcycles like they're pushed with parachutes from air. Oh wow! Yeah. Let me get a little close up. Oh wow! Look at that. And, and up some little we ones. Have, yeah. And then Greeny, a racing bike also from Italy. The Greeny, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 50 cc with six gearbox. For back then it was a fast bike. Yeah. This one here. And here we go on a BMW R71 from this Second one? World War. Yes. This from the Second World War. Yeah. yeah. From African crops. Used to fight in Africa in Second World War. Wow. Nice. Wow. And then this one here. And then we've got the Africa Twin, one of the best motorcycles in Dakar Rally. Wins a lot of Dakar back then. And on the right side, we have also another Honda. Africa, this one? Africa Twin. Africa Twin, yeah. yeah. Seven, seven close up. 750, wow. And then this one here? You've got another Honda, it's the Silver Wing. Uh -huh. This is the nickname that they gave for the Honda. Uh -huh. This car? And again, here we've got the Jeep Willys from Second World War. It's an American made car that survived the Second World War. All right, let's show that. Right, yeah. this way, this one here. And here we have a Speed Twin Triumph. This one. Yeah, very beautiful bike from 1947. And we continue with another two Triumphs, the TRW model. As you can see, the template number is AE903 and AE904. It's a pair that used to be ex-police bikes for Cyprus guards. Are these the Macarios bikes? No, these no. are the first police bikes. Police bikes, yeah. okay. And then we've got the two Harleys with the policeman on the uniform there. These were the Macarios bikes that was gifted from John Kennedy in 1960. Oh, wow. Yeah, so as you can see also the template number is BK91 and BK92. Show you the engine right here. Yeah, of course. So this is the President yeah. Kennedy's gift to Macarios. Yeah. Two of them, huh? This one as yeah. well. And then this one right here. And following, we've got the Triumph Tiger from 1983. This one, right? Yeah, a 750 cc. One of the last came out from Meriden factory. Mm -hmm. In UK. And then this one here. And then we've got a BSA B31. One motorcycle that is very, very rare today because these bikes, they were made only for one year. This one? Yeah, wow. the BSA. And then this one. And then we have an MV Agusta Scrambler model, also a radar bike. Scrambler models, they were used for going off-road and this type of stuff back then. That's is another Italian one? Yeah. And this is a Lambretta from 2019. Uh -huh. Oh, a new one. Yeah. All right, let's do this ones here. All right. And here we've got the bikes from Britain in Second World War. This one here. Yeah, this is a Machules used to fighting in Egypt side, as you can see on the right side you can see some desert on the engine Cover. right here yeah yeah and then we will see 
a trial. This one? HW, yeah. This is the model of that. Yeah. From Second World War again. And following here, we've got the Norton Big Four. This one? Yeah. Again, from British contributing in Second World War. This one, yeah. And finally, we've got a BSA M20, also from Second World War, with the templates of Second World War, the original ones. That's and the last one, huh? Yeah. Well, thank you very much. And tell us again the address and the. We are in Nicosia. And the name of the place? Yeah. Cyprus, we are in Granico Street, number 44, uh -huh. postal code 1010. All right. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate Have a great it. Day. Thank Bye -bye. you. You too. Thank you.